Hello, in this tutorial I want to show a nice um, light and uh, light rays, light sweep, uh, lens flare effect on a text layer. You can um, do this with other layers too, so, uh, what you like, so that's what it's looking like. So it's looking nice, I think for my taste. And so how can we do this? It's very simple. So uh, we're making a new composition. That size you like. And create a new text. And we need an effect from the uh, effects panel from the generate menu. It's called CC Light Sweep. So um, if I move this uh, center of the effect, you see this nice uh, sweep. And uh, I need just the sweep, so on that menu I choose cut out, and I want it uh, more intensity. So raise this up, make this a little bit smaller. So. That's my um, uh, for, for my taste, and I bring this in the uh, vertical position. So choose here a greenish color because of our original text layer. It's looking better, and I animate now. Uh, I'm going to animate this point, so I put it outside the uh, the, the window and clicking on the stopwatch of the center. Then I'm going to 3 seconds and I put it there. So uh, we have over that time of uh, 3 seconds this uh, scanner like effect. So now uh, we want to put um, a light rays on this. So I choose from the same effects menu generate the CC light rays. Uh, put the center so you see these light rays and yeah you can play around with these values so for me this is uh, good and I parent this to the light sweep uh, pos uh, center position so I'm open this uh, light sweep so here are my keyframes and I want to parent the light ray center to the light sweep center. So I hold down the alt key and click on the center stopwatch. And now it's going to red and there's the expression and I parent this to the center of the light sweep. So now it is exactly where I want. So now we are going to make a new composition. I call this final. And um, a new solid. And uh, choose gradient from the generates menu. And it's just for the background. So for that I choose black. Uh, for that I choose gray so now I'm copying the text to the final uh, composition so uh, click it on it string C and string V and kill these effects so just cancel it and now import the first composition with the uh, light sweep and uh, light rays so that's over this layer. So for uh, for now, I need a nice lens flare effect. So that's also on the generate menu. It's called lens flare effect, and put it. Oh, sorry. You have to cre first. You have to create a adjustment layer. Of course. I'm sorry. So, so we have these nice lens flare effect, and um, we uh, 
choose another one because I like this more and we want that the center point of the lens flare is exactly where the uh, uh, sweep center is and the uh, light rays so the best way is to make a uh, expression for this because uh, if you change anything uh, if you slow down or, or have another movement it it, it will automatically uh, change in, in this composition so I choose the effect the lens flare effect and the uh, center and I so I hold down the alt key and switch on the stopwatch at the center of the uh, lens flare and I type in comp and parentheses open speech mark comp one speech mark parentheses close point layer parentheses open speech mark text speech mark parentheses close point effect parentheses open speech mark the cc light sweep speech mark parentheses close parentheses open speech mark center speech mark parentheses close now we have parented uh, to the uh, center point in the other comp so it's it's right there where it should be so now we want that the uh, text just appears when the effect is going over there and uh, we're making this with a simple mask so choose the text layer and this mask tool, the rectangle tool and just paint it over there and then choose subtract so it's gone and now we're making some keyframes going to the mask menu and on that click on the stopwatch and when the lens flare comes on that so just double click and move it a little bit so it's automatically have a keyframe so and then follow the lens flare So and you can feather this out a little bit, mask feather, so it's not too too harsh. See, it's just a little bit here, so a little bit less. So that's good. So now it comes and the text will appears. So the lens flare effect make some keyframes yes uh, the intensity so here it will start click on the stopwatch go a few frames before and then going to zero so here are the keyframes so it starts uh, it could be a little bit later like this or even shorter ah. so that's good and at the end I will do the same just copy it put it there and going to the keyframe assistant and uh, with that point uh, just doing the opposite and that's how it looks like so now you can uh, put some more effects um, to that uh, on the text for example um, uh, some uh, glow put in glow and put it on the text layer so it's have this glow and choose alpha channel uh, increase the radius something like this 
it tends to be um, a little bit down so you have uh, more nice effects 